We all know Android is a platform which you can personalize endlessly. But what if you want to improve the way your Android device works? Well, this is where some really cool Android mods come into play. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com. And first, let me clear the air around what Android mods actually are. Well, Android mods are anything that enhance an Android smartphone's working. Well, now that I've cleared that out, here are some really cool Android mods that you should definitely try. Nobody likes it when someone peeks at your phone while you're looking at your private photos or sending private text messages. Well, I might just have the perfect solution for you. The ScreenGuard app lets you add different types of filters to your phone's display, which makes sure that only you are able to view the display properly. Yeah, you can thank me later. You can set a plain filter with the color of your choice or use different patterns. There's also an option to set the transparency to your desired level. I like the usual black filter, but I have tried different filters and they have managed to keep out my nosy friends from taking a peek at my phone. Also make sure to up the brightness because at times even you might have problems viewing the display. The app is free so what are you waiting for? Get it now. Recent flagships like the bezel-less Xiaomi Mi Mix and the LG G6 have introduced rounded corners in the display and I really like it. Even the upcoming Galaxy S8 seems to be packing a rounded display. Well, the good news is you can use the Cornerfly app to get the rounded display on any Android smartphone. You can just install the app, give it permissions and you will see rounded corners on your phone. Looks pretty cool, right? Plus, you can increase the size of the rounded edges with the paid version of the app. There might be a few problems in some pages, but you can fix that using the app options in the notification center. Other than that, it works perfectly. However, the effect works best on phones with a black bezel. This is for the people who like me own a modest standard smartphone, which does not pack in tons of RAM. To fix the memory woes while multitasking or playing extensive games, you can expand your Android smartphone's RAM using a micro SD card. You heard that right. You can do this with the Rosoft RAM Expander app and you will need a rooted device. Sorry non-rooted users. As you can see, the app's UI is insanely outdated and might seem complicated, but trust me, it's pretty easy. You can just tap the optimum values button and select your memory card. Once you're done, the app will show you different optimum RAM values for multitasking, gaming, etc. You can just choose one of them or set the swap value yourself. Here, I'm adding around 600 MB of additional RAM. Then just tap on swap active, after which the swap file will be created. Once the process is complete, you will have additional RAM at your disposal. With more RAM comes better performance. This is indeed a handy Android mod. The app is paid, so before you try this, Go ahead and check your phone is compatible with the app or not. There are two types of Android users. One wants great battery life, while the other wants great performance. Well, some simple root apps can help you attain both. My favorite app is Franco Kernel, which only works on Nexus, Pixel and OnePlus devices. But it brings a ton of features. Firstly, it brings the custom Franco kernel for your device, which really improves the performance and offers great control. There are a ton of options to play with, but the best thing about this app are the performance profiles. You can choose from power saving, balance or performance depending upon your needs and the app then sets up the CPU and GPU to deliver. Other than that, the app lets you manually overclock or underclock the CPU or GPU, monitor your Android device and more. It's sad that the app is limited to a few devices. Well, on other devices, you can use the Kernel Auditor app, which lets you overclock or underclock your device's CPU or GPU to improve performance or battery life. Like the Franco Kernel app, it packs in tons of features, depending on the kernel, to improve a device's performance. However, it does not bring a custom kernel. I'll suggest you to search for custom kernels for your device on XDA, and you should find some really good ones. Thought the fingerprint scanner could just unlock your device? Well, think again. With the Fingerprint Gestures app, you can add custom actions to the fingerprint scanner. It's pretty cool. 
You can use the fingerprint sensor to scroll, open up the navigation center, toggle settings or even launch an app. You can set the actions for a single tap, double tap or a swipe. While the single tap and double tap worked for me pretty well, the swipe not so much. Having said that, it's still a great mod for Android that lets you do more with the fingerprint sensor. Not all Android smartphones come with a powerful speaker. And if you think your Android device churns out mediocre sound, the Viper for Android mod is perfect for you. The app, available at XTA, requires root access and really amplifies your device's speakers. When you first open the app, it prompts you to download its custom sound driver. Once done, you can enhance the sound quality of the device speakers, headset, Bluetooth speaker or a dock. In the phone speaker tab, you can enable the master power then you can select from various equalizer profiles. You should also enable the speaker optimization option to let the app enhance the sound quality. Also the extra loud feature as the name suggests really increases the output volume and the gain of the device's speakers. Well if you have a rooted android phone and you are an audiophile, get this mod now. Apart from the aforementioned android mods, there are some cool android apps that really bring your device to life. For instance, there's the movie's navbar audio visualizer app. Yeah, the name's a little weird, which as the name suggests, brings a cool music visualizer on the navigation bar. And it looks cool. There's also the energy bar app, which brings a battery bar in the status bar. You can totally customize it to make sure it looks awesome. You can also add the tile extension app to add some really cool toggles in the quick settings of your Android device. Well, you can find the links to all the apps in the description below. Well, those were some really cool Android mods that I think you should definitely try. So try them out and let us know if you know of any Android mods that we might have missed out on. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.